Hey everyone, so I just wanted to update you on my pochette accessoires. Um, as you can see, since my last video, I now have it in the Azure. And I just wanted to talk to you about how I ended up with both of them and actually an update on this one. So if you all recall, the original video that I made on this monogram piece, um, I had actually gotten that one pre-loved and I did um, a video on some of the mod shots and ways that I like to wear it. So what ended up happening is that I was able to build a wonderful relationship with the essay at my local Louis Vuitton and so she actually managed to get her hands on one for me and as soon as it came in, she's so awesome, she gave me a call and I was on my way that same day to get it and what ended up happening is that the pre-loved one that I had purchased that was so beautiful as well um, ended up going back to the original person who sold it to me so she wanted it back so she bought it back and um, we've been great friends since then so that's really funny but um so I mean I'm really not gonna do much of a review on this today because you've already seen it I mean what I can tell you um, that I noticed maybe like a difference between this one and the one that um, I got from my now friend is that the other one like the canvas felt a little bit softer now I don't know if that's because it was obviously worn more in and since getting this one I did notice that it did soften up more like the handle for one soften up more so I'm thinking that maybe with wear this will soften up as well I'm not gonna do the mod shots for this one today because I feel like I already shared quite a bit of those in that last video but I did want to share with you the one in Azor and kind of tell you the story of how I ended up with her. So, um, funny, I've gotten, oh my god, I've gotten so many bags since I've made these videos and I don't always make them because I just, I don't know, I don't have the patience for them. But I've gotten some bags, sold some bags, and I wish that I had made videos on the bags that I got rid of because obviously if I got rid of them it was for a reason. So instead I figured what I would do is kind of bring them up in some of my videos. So what I ended up doing, I had Ava crossbodies, Ava clutches. I don't think, I mean, I made videos, but I never posted them. Maybe I'll go back and post them. Sorry, y'all. I just hated how they came out. But anywho, um, I had them and I really liked them. But again, with me, I was trying to get more for my buck and, I, and, and I'm really big on versatility, you know, um, I want to build like the foundation of my collection before I start, you know, jumping into like colors and, and different, um, you know, just getting too crazy. I don't know if that makes sense what I'm trying to explain to y'all. But anyways, I ended up selling my Ava, my Azure Ava. And with that money, I put it aside and I turned around and told myself that if this ever came by that I was going to try to get it. Um, I was in Louie that day. Um, what was I purchasing? I was actually purchasing a Neverfull in Azor. And it was so funny because I asked my my friend, my essay, Annie, I asked her, I was like, hey, do you by any chance have um, a Felici, a, or Felici, I don't know how to say it, in Azor, because I was kind of, you know, in the market for one of those to replace the Ava because I just gave up on finding this one. So she went to the drawer, and when she opened the drawer, she was like, you know, I could tell she was a little surprised, but kind of wasn't, but kind of was. I mean, I knew she was shocked. So I don't know where the hesitation came from, if she maybe was wanting to sell it to somebody else. But she loves me, so I know it wasn't that. It was just funny. But anyways, as soon as I saw it, what was crazy, and I didn't make a video on it, is that I literally had just sold an authentic one as well the day before, but it was pre-loved as well. I, I just... So, in other words, I went from having two pre-loved accessoires to finally getting my very own. And for me, I just really love having pieces that I can break in myself. Now, when I get impatient or if it's an old piece that's no longer made, I'll shop the resale market. But I love having these items on my history, uh, purchase history, because I feel like when it comes time to repair, like, I just don't want to hear it. Does that make sense? Like, I know sometimes some some locations give people difficult time. Now, mind you, I have an established relationship with my sales associate, so I don't feel like that would be an issue, and I hate that I would even say that. But, um, yeah, so she is now on my purchase history, and I love her. I love this color. Now, what I did notice, now it's weird, not all 2021 pieces have stopped having that, you know, traditional date code. I know that they're doing away with date codes, but... Um, 
this one was one that I did notice no longer has a date code in it. And it was, you know, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I guess it's a great thing if you're buying in store and you have a receipt. I know there's that app called like NFC tools or something that you can download. And it, in fact, it does read a chip. I've tried it myself. But um, I think for the resale market, like if you were to buy an item and it didn't have a date code and you don't have the original receipt, I really believe that's gonna be so scary um but then again when you're buying pre-loved you really can't rely on the day code either because even those are off sometimes i think the only thing about a day code for me that i liked is knowing what year the bag was made because i don't want to pay a brand new price for a bag that's like 20 years old you know I don't know that's just my theory my thought behind that of why I like the date codes um because as far as like authenticizing a bag unless the shape of the date code and the material was like distorted and more than obvious you really couldn't rely on that some of these bags are ridiculous and how well they're made to resemble and authentic but um anyways here she is i've been yapping about it so if you recall what i did with the other pochette accessoires that i purchased pre-loved in my other video um i've been doing the same thing with her i dress her up with my pochette link chain um some days i i honestly don't really use the strap but i love again that if i'm using my neverfull that i got in this color i can put you know my things in here and just have it look like a really adorable catch-all and so i've really been loving that um darn i don't have my wallet up here i'm using the recto verso still my my first love but it fits perfectly inside of this so like when I go out and I use this as a crossbody, like today I would obviously use a light color and this just dresses up my entire outfit. Um, but I, but what I was actually wearing today was the, was the Spironi in this color, y'all. I got my hands on one and I made a video and I haven't posted. I might just remake it today because I, I feel like recording today. So if you see me post a video in multiple outfits, just know that's what it was. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, if you can get your hands on one of these, by all means do so. Now, I did want to mention one thing before I left. I asked my essay why this was so. I noticed that on some of their pieces, you get this really shiny gold. And in some, like this other pochette, you get more of a tarnished brassy look. But that's actually the look. Uh, it's not that it's tarnished. Like I've seen women in Facebook groups go back and try to use the the um, the tarnish remover. I can't remember what it's called. Um, uh, it's right there, but I can't remember. And I've seen them strip this zipper of color because it's not tarnished. This is actually just like a coating that they're using. And so I asked her why that was so like, you know, in my head, I'm thinking like, I don't know if I were to get another monogram, if it would be a dull color or if it would be a gold color. But I know as far as these two colors go, they're completely different zipper colors, the, the zipper pulls anyway. And I asked her what, why that was so, and she was going to ask the repairs department. I didn't hear back from her, but one of her theories, and if you know why, please share, was that depending on what factory they're made, it's just, you know, what's available, which, okay, cool. I took that explanation, and it's nothing on her, obviously, but I'm thinking, like, that's kind of like, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, it's not something that I'm going to throw a fit about, but it is kind of annoying. I'm not a picky person. Like, I'm not going to return a pochette just because of that. Now, I know some people will sit there and, and choose and nitpick. Um, but aside from not being picky, it's a piece that's so hard to find. It really is, y'all. So, for me to, like, think about sitting there and returning it, and I just don't have that patience i already have to stop myself from buying pre-loved so anyways here they are beautiful pieces i'm so happy that i have them these are gonna be like my little clutches as well um my key balls my cross bodies my grab and goes i love them i have a few other bags that i i would love to do some reviews on i'm just gonna sneak this in here real quick to tempt y'all yes <laughs> so Anyways, see you soon, ladies. Thank you and gentlemen.